I think on every project that you take on, there's kind of a time of hesitation where you're considering how much you want to invest into it. And at a certain point, you either decide, I'm not going to do this, or you decide, I am going to do this, I'm going to do it right, and I'm going to make it work good. That's kind of where I'm at with this. I've been heating and hawing and walking around and looking at it and gathering up pieces and parts and this and that and thinking about, you know, how it needs to go. And I've about come to the place where I'm ready to make a commitment and make this happen. I've got me a belt here that can go to that motor. And if I mount that motor right, that can work. This table needs to not be all woggly like it is right now. But once this is mounted, it needs to be very firm. And I need to be able to position the neck and have that be on a very firm spot and have it all work. Um, this mechanism is... I was trying to read all the writing on here. This says, I think it says Lancaster, L-A-N-C-A-S-T-E-R, Pennsylvania, U-S-A, on this side. And then back in here, somewhere over here, some more writing. This says Champion. B-L-O-W B-L-O-W Looks like champion blow and there's a couple there's a dash or a couple letters or a symbol and then it says storage S T O R A G E company storage Forge Oh okay that's gonna be Champion Blow Forge Company that's going to be the company that made this thing. I don't know if this thing originally had a pulley on it. I bet this was a hand-operated drill back in its day. I bet you what happened is you'd position something and somebody would turn this wheel and work this handle to raise that up and down. And then somebody fitted that with a motor. I'm going to go with WD-40. We're going to oil this baby up some. Okay, I oiled this thing up a bit and now... See that? drill part that plunger is working real smooth when I hook a handle on here I should be I should be able to uh, make that go to right there that should work just awesome uh, this turns nice and there's a little screw hole right here where I could probably drop some oil in that if I wanted to so That'd be interesting. What if I hand drilled the neck on that banjo with this thing instead of using the motor? Wouldn't that be interesting? I mean, talk about old old school. <laughs> that would be pretty old school right there. Hmm. 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 You know, that almost looks like it was made to fit a banjo neck, don't it? That certainly is something to think about. I'm sure it wasn't, but... Huh. Dang. Okay, just for a test, I went ahead and wired this motor up. This is kind of a rigged up wire, but I just wanted to test it, see if it would work. So, right here, you can watch while I uh, plug this in. Oh, it goes good. That's a good little motor right there. this way. So what I need to do is look at my drill bits. If this is turning this way, then this is going to turn that way. And then the drill bit is going to turn. I'm back to it's turning to the right, which is uh, clockwise. So let me look at the drill bit. 